Time now for the In-Depth. Tomorrow, BYU's season finally kicks off against Portland State. You can listen to the game 1 p.m. here on KSL News Radio. Pre-game coverage begins 11 a.m. There is no question, no question, he'll be the starting quarterback when the Cougars' offense trots onto the field. But Tanner Mangum has come a long way since he was forced into duty as a freshman. KSL News Radio's Cleon Wall takes this in-depth look. Who is Tanner Mangum? Tanner looks that way, then right, then steps up and shoots a gap. Answer that question. And we first have to ask who was Tanner Mangum two years ago. Well, I think I was a very young, you know, freshly returned missionary, you know, still adjusting to regular life. He was optimistic, upbeat, and ready to fulfill his dream of playing the same position as former Cougar QBs Jim McMahon, Steve Young, and Ty Detmer. But Taysom Hill was the current big man on campus, which suited Mangum just fine. Working hard to, to be the best backup I could be, not necessarily expecting to play right away. That changed in the first game. Pressure comes as he throws downfield behind Kurtz and Cotto! Hill went down with a foot injury, and Mangum threw the pass of a lifetime against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Launches it, goes for the end zone, the ball's in the air, it drops at the goal line! I think he caught it for a touchdown! The following week against Boise State was just as amazing. Throws anyway, in the end zone it is! Mangum magic spread nationwide, and most fans figured he would be the start of the following season. But that didn't happen. Hill decided to return. Uh, Taysom's going to be our starter. Mangum's mindset had to change. You know, understanding that I got to be, you know, a team team player here. So who was Tanner prior to the fall of 2016? A practitioner of patience. I just had to, you know, use that experience for good. So, you know, it was a little bit, you know, learned. And after what happened in 2015, he knew he was just one play away from being the primary signal caller again. It did come. On his feet, dive for the goal line, and he's in! Six. Mangum started in the bowl game after Hill went down with an injury against Utah State. So who was Tanner prior to the Poinsettia Bowl? An anxious disciple. Ready to, to take what, the, what I'd learned throughout the season and take those into the game. And Jamal strolls into the end zone! With all the rain, you know, it turned up being uh, the Jamal show. You know, he, just, he, he, he took over and dominated, which is fun to watch. After an offseason of admitting he has depression and anxiety and being named the undisputed starter at one of the most pressure-packed positions in college football, who is Tanner today? A balanced man. You know, both on and off the field. And you have to learn how to balance, you know, the good and the bad. There's going to be ups and downs. And, but you have to do your best to find the good and, you know, all of it. Clean on wall, KSL News Radio.